On September 15, 2017, a song is released that will change three things forever. The careers of Post Malone and 21 Savage and the music industry. Very quickly, the track would become the most listened to track among all hip-hop on Spotify in history. But where did this success come from? And how did the song even come about? It belonged to a completely different artist from the very beginning. Post Malone did some incredibly tricky things to get this track off the ground. And he succeeded. And the song itself came about by accident in the first first place. Watch to the end. Right from the start, the single took the number on spot in the US on the Billboard chart. Back in late 2016, Post Malone unveiled a snippet of the upcoming hit that would turn the industry upside down. Back then, he was just performing it in the studio. You'd be surprised, but the track is co-written by Joey Badass, a rapper who never released a worldwide hit himself. I just kind of like freestyled and I just left, you know, I just left Post with whatever we did, you know? Shout out to Post, like that's my man, he's such a sweetheart, he's a cool dude. But the song came into existence quite by accident. Back seven years ago, a young producer named Tank met Post Malone by chance in Los Angeles, at a sneaker store. Even then, he asked the rapper to show him his beats. Post Malone didn't refuse and something he apparently liked. Some time later, Post Malone worked in the studio with Joey Bettis in New York. Look upon me. What's up, oh, baby? Shit, what's up, bro? I like this jacket, Zeus. And imagine the coincidence. The same guy named Tanks walks in and asks to show the beats again. You know Post, he always says yes in those cases. They played tunes, experimented and sang. Overall, Malone didn't like anything. Whatever, fuck you, dude. The melody sounded bad, but they cut a small piece of vocals and sent it to LA. Already there, the main melody of the track was written by famous producer Lee Bell, who will be listed as one of the co-writers of the song. There will be six of them in total. Louis Bell is a pretty well-known producer. He has produced songs such as Sunflower by Post Malone and Sway Lee, Without Me by Halsey, Lost in Japan by Shawn Mendes, and It Ain't Me by Kaigo and Selena Gomez. Post Malone was immediately impressed with the melody and piano and realized it was going to be a hit. Me? <laughs> this is my studio. <laughs> he and his team finished his part and set it off to Savage to do this verse. Surprisingly, Savage is not in the original version of the track and he appeared in it spontaneously too. <laughs> Rockstar was to be performed by Post Malone, Joey Badass and T-Pain. And later, the original version appeared on YouTube. Why Malone refused to collaborate with Pain and share the success of the hit with Savage is still unknown. But here's a fact. Malone and Pain have not released a single collaboration since those events. Though there is no doubt that this hit would have brought Pain back to his former glory. <laughs> Savage sends his words to Malone. It's an atmospheric track, but we all realize that the song becomes a hit because of the chorus. Savage's verse has the same flow as the chorus. So Malone has a brilliant idea in his head. He has to get the audience interested somehow. On September 15, 2017, the track became available digitally. And it was the first single from the album Beer Bongs Bentley's. Then he put the song on YouTube. But not the full song, just part of the chorus. Post realized that a lot of people would be interested in the chorus. And then to that chorus, he put links to other streaming platforms, where you can could listen to the full track along with Savage's verse. It was an absolute win. Malone directed people to more lucrative platforms. And the track immediately brought in a lot more money. We are talking Spotify, Apple Music and others. On top of that, the billboard takes into account all listens. Both the full track and a snippet of the chorus on YouTube. And as the chorus on the video hosting quickly gained more than 40 million views, it gave a strong boost on streaming. Thanks to that, the song immediately took the number on spot in the US and the top spot worldwide. This brought even more attention to the track. By the way, the very first version with the chorus on YouTube has already been deleted. At that moment it was clear, we had to make a music video. And an official video has been released which has garnered less than 2 million views. It's not surprising, because the clip consisted of footage from Malone's tours and it was processed with strange overlays, which made it too hard to make out the picture. Savage was not in the video at all. And there was no additional interest to the full track, because everyone had a chance to listen to it on streaming. After two months they released a very unexpected but stylish Japanese style music video, with Katanas and Blood. 
This video sends the single to the top of the music industry. Now it has already gained over a billion views and six years ago the single was nominated for a Grammy. Back then the single generated $300,000 in audience in one week alone. Of course, Stepain was not happy about this course of events and the original Rockstar version comes out. But it was simply overlooked by millions of people. And frankly it sounds a little weird. But we have to give respect to Payne. He admitted that if he had stayed on the track, Rockstar would not have taken the first place on the chart. But the main injustice of the story is different. T Payne is a global star, and even without this track, he is doing okay. Rockstar has six official contributors, including Post Malone, 21 Savage, Louis Bell, Joey Badass, and others. But there is no main man in charge. Do you remember that guy named Tang who joined Malone and Joey Badass in the studio? He was the one who played the melody. To which post came up with the chorus flow. But among the authors, we never saw Tank. Nevertheless, Rockstar opened a lot of doors for Tank. After the success of the single, the musician signed a contract with Sunny. There is a very symbolic part to this story. God Studios, where the Rockstar track appeared, is where the great Tupac was robbed and subjected to gunfire in 94. This photo later appeared there. In the same place, 23 years apart, one of the most famous photos in rap and the most listen to song in hip-hop history appear. Amazingly, Post Malone only got interested in music at all, because his parents bought him a Guitar Hero game when he was a kid. Even here it's an absolute fluke. But after the song's release, it's accurate to say the Savage and Malone's careers flew to the moon. They became popular all over the world and made a fortune of money. True Malone needs to be careful, because his rockstar lifestyle is not a fiction. And if he wants to release a few more worldwide hits, he will have to think about his health. Today Rockstar is the most listened to rap song in streaming history. It was both a fluke, like Tank stopping by the studio and an elaborate plan, posting just the chorus to get people on streaming. But the fact is, Rockstar is one of the most recognizable song in the world. Write in the comments about which track you would be interested to see a video, and we will definitely do it. Put like, thanks for watching, get in touch.